Dream King Films. We're here with Coach Jones of the Impact Christian Academy Lions. Hey, Coach, tough, hard-fought victory tonight, 62-52 win over Bishop Kenny. Coach, just real quick, give me your thoughts on tonight's uh, contest. Um, you know, Bishop Kenny is always a tough opponent. I think that, you know, they're very well coached. You know, they always have good players. They're going to execute. They're going to play hard. You know, they made it really difficult for us, and, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to come out with a win. Coach, in the first quarter, y'all guys came out on fire. I believe y'all had an 18-point lead at the end of the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Coach, just real quick, talk about that um, for that first quarter. Um, guys came out with a lot of energy. You know, I thought they struggled with our pressure a little bit early on. Um, and then, like you said, we did, uh, I believe we made five threes in the first quarter. So that really helped as well. You know, we just got out to a hot start. You know, a lot of times it's, it's difficult to maintain that. Though. Coach, talk about your playmaker, Jordan Jackson. He ended the game with 15 points, but I believe he had eight points in the first quarter. Just talk about what he brought to the table tonight, Coach. I mean, Jordan's always good. You know, he's 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 developed quite a bit. He's matured over the over the years. This year, he's showing a lot of senior leadership. You know, and it, it showed tonight. You know, he came up with, with big plays, you know, when we were kind of struggling a little bit. You know, he, he stepped up, made big plays, and kind of got us over the hump. Coach, offensively, y'all got kind of stagnant there in the second quarter. Bishop Kennedy jumped right back in the game. Coach, just what, what happened in that second quarter? Um, I, I thought, you know, we, we kind of stopped moving the ball a little bit. We started to settle, you know, making, you know, shooting as well as we shot in the first quarter. I thought worked against us a little bit in the second. Guys started settling. You know, we I think we, every, almost every field goal attempt was a three-pointer. <laughs> But, you know, those things happen, especially early on in the season. You know, we got to, you know, we got to learn from it. And guys got to got to continue to keep attacking, you know, when that, when that happens. Coach, they kept the, the game close for the most part throughout the entire game. You, uh, big man Calvin Johnson, he came through tonight with 10 points. Just talk about his play as well as the matchup with number 50, Candelino for Bishop Kenny. He had 12 points on the night. Yeah, they, they have. I, I thought that Bishop Kenny actually had a, a few really good players. And 50 is one of them. Um, Coach Buckley's son, I thought, gave us all kind of problems. Um, and who were you asking about? Uh, Calvin Johnson, your big man. He came through Hughes tonight with ten points gotcha. late, late in the game. Yep, Calvin is, is, is again. He's he's really he's, he's really good for us. He's a, a three year varsity player. He's he's starting to show a lot of maturity. You know, so they're very comfortable in situations where you know we're struggling a little bit, and you know we, we kind of they kind of lock in and get us over the hump. Let's talk about the guard play, Coach. Number five for Beagle. I'm sorry, number five for Bishop Kenny. Beagle had 12 points. Like I mentioned, Jordan had 15. Just talk about that matchup as well, Beagle versus Jordan. Yeah, Beagle's, Beagle's another one that's very good. He was one of the three guys that we thought, you know, could really hurt us from Bishop Kenny. Um, and, and he did. He did. You know, he, he was very good for them. He's a high-energy kid. You know, he's, he's aggressive going at the glass. You know, he just – Caused all kind of problems for us. Coach, your playmaker Antonio Williams. His shot, his shot, he didn't get many shots tonight, but he, he ended the game with four free throws. Coach, just talk about your playmaker and what you think prevented him from getting going tonight, Coach. Well, he, he was in foul trouble for much of the game, and that's that's what really hurt him. Um, and you know, he actually fouled out at, in the fourth, so he sat a lot in the, in the second quarter. Um, he's kind of our, our, you know, one of our uh, our main guys. You know, he's kind of the leader on the court, especially emotionally. You know, so when he's not on the court, you could tell. I thought that was one of the reasons we, we were pretty flat in the second, um, is that he had to sit in foul trouble. You know, but we were able to get him back in the game towards the end, and you know, he, he made those those big free throws for us. Yes, sir, coach. I had a, a few mistakes, a lot of mistakes in tonight's win, coach. Just real quick, how y'all clean them up before y'all uh, travel to the west side in y'all next contest, coach? Well, we don't have a lot of time, that's for sure. You know, we got one day. It's something we'll sit down tomorrow and kind of kind of watch film, um, and you know. Kind of, we, we don't have a lot of time actually on the court to be able to, to prepare for it, but we'll watch film and, and hopefully guys can see where some of those mistakes were made and grow from it. Yes, sir. Coach, last question before we get out here. Like I mentioned, y'all travel to the west side to take on Lee. It's going to be a hostile environment. Alex Fudge, hell of a player, Teron Haywood, uh, DeAndre Devon. Real quick, Coach, just give me your thoughts on the matchup between those guys and, and, your, and your Lions. Um, I, I think it's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be a hard fought game. It's going to be very competitive. You know, obviously, it's, it's kids who play together on an AAU circuit, you know, so that adds a, a, another element to it. Um, so it's going to be a fun atmosphere. It's going to be a fun game. We're looking forward to it. Yes, sir, Coach. Thanks for talking with me. Good luck to your future. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you, Coach. Mm -hmm.